Who are the Minnewaska Fish? We are a group of dedicated students from Arlington High School on a mission to notify the public about pH changes and the resurgence of life in Lake Minnewaska and determine the effect of the changes on the community. Lake Minnewaska is one of five sky lakes on the Shawangunk Ridge. The lake is a popular tourist attraction known for its hiking trails, beautiful views, and formerly for its clear water. So what the fish is going on? Over the past decade, the pH of Lake Minnewaska has skyrocketed from a very acidic 4.2 to a neutral 7.1 as of the most recent measurements taken. This upward trend has allowed for the most surprising finding to date, the discovery of aquatic life again in the lake. The last recording of fish life in the lake was 1922, before authorities used dynamite to recover a body that sank to the bottom of Lake Minnewaska. The use of dynamite killed all remaining fish, and for almost the next 90 years, fish were completely absent from the lake. In 2008, golden shiners, a type of freshwater fish, were discovered in the lake. This is a significant change because it means that the conditions of Lake Minnewaska have improved drastically enough to support life once again. There are numerous hypotheses to explain these phenomena, ranging from the impact of anti-pollution legislation like the Clean Air Act, to tectonic shifts exposing the shale layers at the bottom of the lake which would act as a pH buffer. The lack of conclusive evidence to support any one hypothesis suggests that it may be a combination of multiple factors. Our desire to explore the different hypotheses led us to interviews with many experts on the region. We were able to secure time with Assistant Professor Dr. David Richardson of SUNY New Paltz, who has been researching Lake Minnewaska for roughly four years. We were also lucky enough to pick the brain of Mark B. Freed, a historian and expert on the Shawangunk Ridge. Informing the public of the changes is the most important aspect of our project. To notify the community, we set up an informative booth and surveyed passersby at numerous school functions. We also crafted an informative PowerPoint, which we presented to about 500 students from various classes at our school. As long as we teach even one person about this mystery, in our eyes, our mission is a success.